थ्री टू वन जीरो प्लस फाइव सेकेंड लिफ्ट ऑफ हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ब्रेस एजुकेशन अकेडमी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल सी सम इंटरेस्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन इन एन एम्बिशियस क्वेस्ट टू अचीव अ सक्सेसफुल सॉफ्ट लैंडिंग ऑन द मून द इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इसरो लॉन्च द चंद्रयान थ्री मिशन ऑन जुलाई फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री from the satish dhawan space center in shrihrikota this mission is india's third lunar exploration venture and represents the country's second attempt at making a gentle touchdown on the moon's surface so students let's start to our main topic chandrayaan 3 is equipped with an indigenous land module vikram a propulsion module pm and a rover pragyan The primary objectives of the mission are to demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, showcase rover roving capabilities and conduct various in situ scientific experiments. The scientific payloads on the lander will play a crucial role in studying multiple aspects of the lunar environment including lunar quakes, thermal properties of the moon's surface, changes in the plasma near the surface, and precise measurements of the earth moon distance. Additionally, the mission features a new experiment called spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth, shape aimed at analyzing reflected light to search for potentially habitable smaller planets. It is important to see why Chandrayaan-3 mission is more important for India with comparison to Chandrayaan-2 mission, so we will look into it now. Chandrayaan-3 has seen significant improvements and modifications from its predecessor, Chandrayaan-2. The landing area has been expanded to allow for safer landings within a larger designated zone. and the land has been equipped with more fuel to enable longer distance travel to alternate landing sites furthermore the land now boasts solar panels on all four sides for increased power generation physical enhancements have been made to enhance stability and sturdiness additional navigational and guidance instruments including a laser doppler velocimeter have been included to ensure precise monitoring and corrections of the lander's speed the mission began its journey on an avm3 m4 launcher which successfully separated from the rocket about 16 minutes after lift off and entered into an elliptic parking orbit epo chandrayaan 3's voyage is expected to take approximately 42 days with a scheduled landing on August 23, 2023 near the lunar south pole. The landing site's significance lies in the challenging terrain and extreme conditions as certain polar regions experience scarce sunlight and freezing temperatures as low as minus 230 degrees Celsius. While these conditions pose difficulties for instrument operation and sustainability, they also offer valuable information about the early solar system, making exploration of this region crucial for future deep space missions. India's previous lunar missions include Chandrayaan-1, launched in 2008. which aimed to create a comprehensive three-dimensional atlas of the moon and conduct mineralogical mapping. Chandrayaan-1 made significant discoveries including the detection of water and hydroxyl on the lunar surface. Subsequently, Chandrayaan-2 launched with an orbiter, lander and rover sought to explore the lunar south pole. Although the lander and rover faced challenges during the descent and crashed onto the moon's surface, the orbiter successfully collected data and found signatures of water at all latitudes. With Chandrayaan-3, 
India stands poised to become the fourth country in the world to achieve a soft landing on the moon, joining the ranks of the United States, Russia, and China. The mission represents a significant step forward in India's space exploration endeavors and is expected to contribute valuable insights to the scientific community's understanding of the moon and its history. Thank you for watching this video. We wish this will be helpful for you. Like, share and subscribe to our channel. All the best for your preparation and have a fabulous day ahead.